Okay, cool, we're going? Okay. Yeah. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Felicia Ut, and uh, he's my friend Gabby. Join me. <laughs> Gabby. Yo, you know what? <laughs> let's talk about, let's talk about, let's, you know what's the last? <laughs> that was incoherent. <laughs> I, try, I get excited, but then the worst thing goes. So today is the last day of January. Oh my god. So Felicia's IQ is. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay it's love. Of the year, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's the last day of the year. Yeah. So, like, year in review? Okay. Oh. Hey! What's happening, family and friends? How's everybody doing? Today is the last day of the year of 2020. Praise, Praise god. Jehovah! <laughs> <laughs> this is Gabby. Hi, friends. This is my best friend from high school. Yes. Taking those a while ago, hey? Yeah. Because we're, what, we're, we're like graduating now. Like, university. Mm -hmm. Okay. First question What is the hardest <clears throat> lesson you have had to learn this year? Mm. Um, valuing joy over instant gratification. Wow. Okay. Facts. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I realized, like, I had this whole thing. I would do things because it makes me happy in the moment. Mm -hmm. If I really wanted to be in a place where I was really good, um, I had to start making decisions where they may not be great in the moment for me or it may not make me feel comfortable, mm -hmm. but it's something that I'm working towards to better myself, to get the joy that I want yeah. one day. Yeah. That was a really good one. That was a powerful one. Mine kind of goes along with that, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I had to learn. I had to learn how to let things go. And I had to let them go for that reason. 2020 was a mirror. I really saw how unhappy I was. Mm. I had to learn that if I am ashamed of something, it is not good for me. And my shame is adding to my anxiety and my anxiety is making me unhappy. If Even if it's hard, let go of it. <clears throat> She's in a great place, by the way. I am in a wonderful... I am light years away from where I could have imagined I would be. <laughs> I've never experienced a transformation in one year mm -hmm. like I have this year. What changes are you making for 2021? Um, slash, who do you want to be a year from now? So we do like two parts. Yeah. Okay, so what changes are you going to make for this upcoming year? Okay. Okay, the easy ones. I say this every year, but I really am going to try. I really am going to try. I need to take care of myself. <laughs> I'm going to try drinking water. Um, eating. Three meals is pushing it. I'm going to say eating two meals a day. Um, I just don't believe in breakfast. Smart we'll goals. <laughs> yeah. Mm, exercise, my gosh. It's not even a part of my life. <laughs> just, like, those are the changes I'm trying to make. <sighs> changes. I guess taking the lessons I've learned from 2020 and actually applying them. See, mm. because, you know, I've learned a mm. lot. I'm very knowledgeable. Mm. Just need to gain wisdom by actually <laughs> applying these things. Um, yeah. I'm gonna try and take some risks as well risks that are going to enhance the person that i'm trying to actually be who do you want to be a year from now i want to be the person that god had renamed me to be wow so basically a year ago god gave me a new name it's the whole story that name is layton and it basically means to let go of to refrain from to let to allow i have a control problem always thinking that i know better always wanting what i want in that moment and not really waiting on god so i kind of want to let go so that i can let i can let god be who he needs to be in my life um and so he can call me by that name like this sounds bad but like hear me out like i kind of want to go back to who i used to be in like junior high when i was younger i had like i was just so confident in who i was and i feel like i, I have kind of lost my way a little bit and i want to go back to that I want to be in a place with God where I feel like he is my best friend again. Because there was a time he was. And now he's like a distant, long-lost friend who I still care for, but see very rarely. Who did God become to you this semester? In not an awkward, like, romantic way, but like, on an intimate... Okay, understand. I hope whoever's watching this can understand. An intimacy level with a significant other is just really different. Mm -hmm. That scares me. Mm. That intimacy level is what God wanted with me. Mm. Not like all the weird stuff, but just like the amount of care and affection and the consistency and like the, just mm. the want to be together. Trying to like work through that space where he wants to be like a husband to me. Yeah. Yeah. It was weird. It was a weird transition. I don't know. This sounds crazy. 
But you no, know what I'm saying? It makes exact sense because that's exactly what I was going to say. That is exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Stay connected. We don't go to school together yeah. anymore. <laughs> But no, like, okay, so basically we were having worship for an AY meeting and Kai bought this book. Okay. It has a bunch of names that people refer to God to mm -hmm. as, as, and we were supposed to like put our hand and pick a random one yeah, and then read the description and explain like how it relates to your situation, right? Mine, I flipped through and it was husband. <laughs> You're not cold. Just putting your life jacket on. <laughs> so I was going to say the same thing. Like for me, God has become my partner like my significant other basically and this is what i realized i realized that this image of god being my father is really hard for me to relate to like i get it but like i don't resonate with it as much as when i think of him as like my husband i realize how nonchalant i am about my relationship with god mm -hmm. because when i think about what i expect out of my partner mm -hmm. i expect all these things from my partner in my relationship with god i am none of those things and i realized this idea of love that people have been giving me that is not love like when i see what that looks like and i realize that that is what i have been doing to god i realized like i am in a toxic relationship with jesus mm -hmm. i am the toxic one well realizing that that i also began to understand what grace looks like i feel like i had to think of him that way to understand just how important he is in my life yeah. <sighs> this is so quirky <laughs> do you want to turn the car on oh yeah in your hand <laughs> how have you combated spiritual warfare or how do you plan to um i didn't combat well all i know is that prayer is everything to me mm. so if i don't know anything i will pray yeah just did that prayer walks yeah those will save like if i whenever i go on a prayer walk it just does something every single time without fail it's never like i never regret going out no matter wow. how cold it is no matter what happens if there's ever a solution to whenever i need to actually combat if i can't think of prayer walk that's good it's always good to have people praying for you too amen i think that's something that wow. i needed to do like actually if amalia is watching this amalia thank you so much my grandma told me like have people pray for you around the clock like for every day have somebody different praying for you um one of the one of the people i asked to pray for me um was amalia and amalia Said that she would pray for me every sunday and so every sunday she still does it like she'll still wow. pray for me Aww. and so even when we're literally not in the same country like i know when you need it Aww. so like, yeah like, this question for myself i think like i did a horrible 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 job at combating spiritual warfare this year this semester like has been just a whirlwind for me and i think like having friends who pray for me and not just pray for me but pray with me like you're saying like That's, has yeah. made such a difference in my life mariah is my, she's my partner and everything i love that girl but having people who expect more from you like than you even expect from yourself and who remind you that you're not satisfied imagine if when both people are low you still expect more from each other imagine mm -hmm. where we would be instead of being like oh you're not feeling it i'm not feeling it bet let's waste time that's a concept you know what i mean like I just feel like having people who don't let you settle really makes a difference in your life. What did God teach you about yourself this semester? That's a fun question. Hey. <laughs> I was just asking to expose myself. Did I come up with this question? Or did you? I don't remember. Um, I'm mad at one of us. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that I, I am prone to isolation. Like I just, I tend to just shut myself off from people. We've known this. I don't even deal with it myself. Like I just, no one's done. you know? He just taught me that I need people more than I think I do. Cause I always just feel like I'm good on my own. Like I don't need to ask for help. I don't need to confide in people. I don't, I don't need it. Like it's fine. It's not fine. I learned cause something that you said earlier mm -hmm. that I'm actually capable um, of a lot of stuff. I don't want to compromise what's good about me, but yeah. I can also make changes in my life to use what has kind of gone wrong and put it into something positive. Okay. Closing remarks. <sighs> Closing remarks. This was a horrid year. Are you alright? I'm joking. You're so dumb. I hated the first half of this year. I actually really enjoyed the last half of this year. I did. As horrible as it was. You know, it sounds so cheesy, but like it doesn't really matter. <laughs> You're like it doesn't really matter what's happening to you if you know who you are. That's beautiful. Ew! <laughs> You're so ugly.
ugly. <laughs> so I have a little bit more excitement going into this year. It is our graduating year. Who would have thought 2021 would come? Oh my gosh. Happy New Year, friends. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope that. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Just take this the Gabby <laughs> show. I don't even know why I'm here. I don't even know. I forgot whose channel it was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me just. Happy New Year, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Like, share, go straight. Yeah. Here you go.